So not a shock that it ends up being Dr. Wily behind the whole thing, and that Dr. Wily is the one who actually kidnapped Dr. Light. Wily in classic style flies up in his UFO, and he enters his new incarnation of the Skull Castle. So just like the previous Mega Man games, we ended up facing Dr. Wily in the end anyway, no new enemy has taken over. I guess it was kind of an interesting thing having the twist there that wasn't really proto-man, you find out it's Dr. Wily. However, with Dr. Kozak being kidnapped, or being used by Dr. Wily, by Wily kidnapping Kozak's daughter in the previous game, we've already come to expect that kind of twist, so it's a little disappointing that Capcom kind of went that twist route with Dr. Wily still being the boss. So in Dr. Wily's castle, we start off by traveling down a very long corridor of spikes that are rather easy to dodge and then we go ahead and continue on through it. Now being Dr. Wily's castle, we've already now gone through eight Robot Masters, as well as the four stages of Proto Man's castle, so now they're really gonna try to turn up the heat here and try to take you out before you make it to the final boss. So we have to deal with a lot of the spikes areas in this, and you gotta be very careful with your jumping in these areas, so that you don't accidentally jump too high and end up hitting your head against these spikes and end up losing a life there. We're also going to have to deal with some falling ceilings, or the ceilings that fall down just far enough that when they get stopped by their lowest point, so you got to be careful and make sure you're in the clear areas so that you end up not getting crushed. They try to make it as tough as possible by adding some pretty difficult platforming to deal with, and we have these moving wheel platforms to deal with as we continue on here. After that, here's where the ceiling begins to collapse on you. You gotta be careful here to make sure that you're not in its lowest point, so that you end up getting crushed by it. Stand from afar if you can, shoot out some of the rocks, and then slide underneath of it to continue on there. And you gotta be quick about it, but you also gotta be smart about it, so you don't end up losing a life. We now have one last big series of rocks to take care of, which is a little bit challenging because you can't see all the rocks unless you go all the way to the right edge, take them out, and then quickly slide underneath, and continue on. One last big try to slide through area, and we continue on, and now we're in another area with one of those chicken robots we've seen before. The hardest parts of the stage have now been taken care of as we continue on. We just have to now make it over a few more jumps with some spikes, but the toughest has definitely passed us at this point. As we travel through this area, take out the robots before making our jumps, and we enter into the boss door. Now with the Wily bosses, they end up being these big monstrous bosses or robots to deal with, and it ends up being pretty cool battles. Like here we have this totem pole style enemy that shoots out his lower platform first with spikes on it at you and then shoots out the one above it, in which case you jump on the bottom one, then jump on the top one, and you're able to release a shot into the head of the robot. You have to go ahead and shoot the bottom one in order for it to pop out at you, so make sure you're all the way on the left side, go ahead and shoot it, and then start jumping on the platforms. It ends up being a pretty simple boss once you've gotten the timing of your jumps, but it ends up being at least a little bit interesting while taking them out. And there we go. Take out the totem pole robot, and now we're going to be moving on to Wily stage number two. Now, Wily Stage 2 is the first stage, and the only stage in this run, where I'm going to be using that Super Arrow ability. You've probably been wondering when I was actually going to go ahead and use it. And you could use it a little bit to help you speed run through some of these stages in certain areas, but there's only one area where you're going to need to use it, and that's going to be located in this stage. However, before we get there, we're going to have to deal with an underwater part. Thankfully, though, they give us another one of those energy tanks in case we needed it. We have the return of the moving wheel platforms that we just saw in the previous level, as we have to try to make it through along with the spikes on the ceiling. We also have those very cool Matuls that have the snorkel sets so that they can breathe and move underwater.
as we take out the last Matul of this area, we go up the ladder, which, kind of funny climbing a ladder underwater. However, we can jump through most of it. When we get to the top, though, we are out of the water, we're kind of like half and half. And then we finally exit out of the water and continue moving to the right with some of those Matuls that get on my nerves. The ones that spread apart into the three little Matuls. Now this upcoming area is pretty easy to deal with, some spikes and some enemies, but it's really easy to traverse through. The only real issue is because so many robots get on screen, you may have a little bit of a slowdown issue when coming over to certain areas. Go ahead and take out this chicken robot so I can make it to the ladder here, and climb up it, and now here is where we're going to have to use the super arrow for the first time. I'm going to use the napalm bomb to take out the big robot here, and switch to the super arrow, shoot it, jump onto it, and as you can see, it sticks to the wall, shoot a couple of them, climb up, and then you can make it to the top here. Go underneath the robot, slide under them if you can, or just take a little bit of a hit, and then travel through, and now we make it to the next of the Wily robot bosses. Now this boss has a shield, or a piece of armor that goes around him completely, however he opens up the hatches on the side of it that's going to allow you to hit him. He shoots out these large balls from the top of it, as well as he moves around in pretty much the same pattern, which can hit you. So I like to move from side to side to try to hit him a little bit, just to try to avoid getting run into him. However, if you take the hit, it doesn't do too much damage, and if you've collected some of the energy tanks throughout the run, you can definitely have plenty of health in order to take out the boss. As you can see though, a charged up Mega Buster shot does a lot of damage to him, and after only a handful of shots, he's done, and we move on to the third of the Wily stages, which is one of the classic of the whole Wily Castle, Skull Castle stages, the one where you have to do the gauntlet of all the Robot Masters once again. As we start off, there's a room with an energy tank if you need it. However, I do have a good amount of them, so in case I do need them, I have plenty of them. However, it's easier to go through this game than it is some of the other Mega Man games. And I'm going to start here on the left side and just start working my way through, facing all the Robot Masters once again. We start off with our second battle against Gravity Man. One, the thing is, it's interesting about this one, uh, compared to some of the other ones of the Gauntlet, is usually you've been fighting them uh, in, like, a plane-style room. All the Robot Masters, again, but they're all in a different style room. In this one, you actually go to their room, the room that you fought them in in their stages, so it's a little bit more of an interesting thing. Gravity Man was easy to take care of, and I move now on to Wave Man. All the strategies remain the same. Wave Man's easy to deal with. He shoots his harpoon out, which is easy to dodge, as well as the water geysers that shoot out from the ground. You have to dodge them, but pretty much they're going to come out usually where you're standing when he landed. Wherever he lands and where you were is about when he's usually going to call for the geyser to come out of the ground. So they're easy to dodge, the harpoon's easy to jump over, charge up your shot, and just give him a full blasted shot when you can, and his health will slowly drain down. With Wave Man done, we move on, and now we're facing off against Stone Man. Now he has those rotating rocks that go around him as his main ability. However, for the most part, he's just going to jump back and forth, and when he lands, he kind of crashes and crumbles into a pile of rock. You can't hurt him when he's that pile of rock, so you just keep moving around him, and as soon as he forms back into his full body, that's when you can deliver the shot to him. Move around the stage, keep firing their shots, and just like before, he's pretty easy to take care of. Next up in our boss gauntlet is Starman. Now Starman is the Woodman, Skullman style enemy. He has the rotating shield around him which you can't hit, but then he fires it at you, in which case then gives you the opportunity to go ahead and land a strong, fully charged Mega Buster shot at him. His shots are easy to dodge because you have no gravity, or very low gravity, in his stage. So you can easily jump high over his shield that he shoots out, and be able to deliver that hit whether he's on the ground, or whether he's up in the air.
our same strategy as before, just keep dodging and shooting when he comes down, and he's taken care of and gives us our full health, which we already had, and then we move on to our next Robot Master, which happens to be Crystal Man. Now Crystal Man, you have to really watch out for that four-shot marble shot he lets out, with his marble-style crystals that bounce around the stage. However, his most common weapon is going to be the single-shot projectile he shoots at you, which comes directly at you wherever you were standing, so it ends up being pretty easy to dodge because it moves relatively slowly. He jumps around, keeps firing in that, and after only a few charged full shots, he's done, we grab some health, 